What's up guys, DJ Darkbeat here, bringing you another Blaster Review video. And today, we need to have a talk. That's right, we need to have a little bit of a talk. As you all know, Hasbro and Nerf have made a little bit of a splash in the community as of late. You all know that they have come out with a new proprietary dart. That's right. The N1 dart. This little guy here has been causing quite the stir. Now, that being said, I want to let you know my reviews and my opinions will always be on point without hesitation on saying how I feel. But we have to start treating Nerf a little bit differently than we do Dart Zone and Adventure Force. Now, Dart Zone and Adventure Force are in the pro level. They perform a little bit better. We expect a little bit more out of them. So they're going to be held to a higher standard. When I talk about Nerf Blasters from now on, we're going to judge them on a little bit of a different curve. They're going to be based on, are they fun? Is it fun to play with? The playability of them? How much do I like it? The performance is going to be a factor, of course. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to perform better, but these are supposed to perform better. And <laughs> if they got to beat the Elite Dart, the bar is so friggin' low that if this doesn't beat the Elite Dart, then Hasbro should just close up shop and just stop making blasters altogether. So I'm, I'm pretty certain that this will beat the Elite Dart in performance, but we're going to find that out. You know, all that being said, Nerf is going to be treated a little bit differently. So I want to be as fair as possible without just ripping this blaster apart. I want to judge it fairly. I want to give you guys a fair assessment. And my job is to show you what the blaster is, if I like it, and if it's worth buying. Is it worth investing your money on this new dart, which you're going to have to keep buying now because the Elite Dart is dead. Oh man, thank God. I hated Elite Darts. But again, uh, Adventure Force and Dart Zone made, you know, full-length darts and half darts that were fantastic for a much better price than the Elite Dart. And that's what we've been using and that's what we've come to love. But Hasbro has strayed away from the Elite Dart and the Elite Dart is no more. So the N1 Dart is gonna be taking its place. So love it or hate it, this is it. We have to get used to it or we have to abandon it. So what I want to talk about is how good the blasters are, how fun they are to use, and just basically if I like them. That's what the videos are going to be when we're talking about in our Dart Zone and Adventure Force and Worker and all the other stuff is still going to be held to the same standard and it's going to go through the same testing that most of this stuff does. And I'm going to still put the Nerf blasters through its paces as well. But my final judgment and my final conclusion is going to be a little bit different because I'm not basing this on is this something that should be able to be used in the pro space or in the hobby space. This is an eight and up blaster and I'm going to judge it as so. I will let you know if it has potential and I will let you know what I think of it and just give you my honest opinion without holding back like I always do. So without further ado, today we're going to be talking about the Nerf N series pinpoint. Oh yeah. So this is the Eagle Point 3.0, because there was a 2.0. This might be 3.0. I'm not sure, but this is kind of like the Eagle Point. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's a magazine fed instead of a cylinder like the Eagle Point was, but the silhouette of the blaster just reminds me of the Eagle Point right out of the gate. And I really did like the Eagle Point. I wasn't a fan at first. I wasn't sold on the Eagle Point. I didn't think it really performed that well, but after I used it for a little bit and I played with it a little bit, I, I, it grew on me. I really did, uh, did enjoy the Eagle Point. So I want the review today to pretty much tell you about this blaster and if it's worth it to replace your Eagle Point with the N series. Because now the, the, the Elite 2.0 stuff and the, and the older Nerf stuff, I'm sure that's gonna go on sale pretty cheap. You could probably find an Eagle Point. I know it was $20 or less. Now, this blaster, I think, was $20. So the prices are, you know, they are coming in okay for the N series. So, the, you know, right out of the gate, I can say it's a plus on price. Even their flagship is $40. So the flagship blaster is only $40, and they start as low as $5. So the, the pricing, I will give Hasbro credit on that. The pricing is starting off good. But let's stop talking about it, and let's start seeing what it's got. All right, so let's get this thing out of the box, see what we're working with, and go from there. 
All right, stick with me, guys. Okay, guys, so the N-Series pinpoint. Let's see what it says in the box. Extreme accuracy, speed, and distance. Dart clip. It has a magazine. Large scope. And it is a bolt action. Uh, I thought they were giving you a double the dart guarantee right now, but apparently this one comes with 18, not 20. And ages 8 and up. Okay. Yep, large scope, bolt action, 10 dart clip. Uh, mag release here. They call it a clip release. And, you know, I don't know why they call it a clip. They know this by now. Extreme accuracy, speed, and distance. That's what they're claiming. Also, look for N1 refill packs. Yeah, you know, they're going to charge you their typical nerf prices for their darts. And that's where they've always made their money. And that's where they're going to continue to make their money. So, let's get it out of the box and see what we get. Okay, so we got the blaster, 18 darts, the, the muzzle, the front attachment, magazine, and luckily the bolt, uh, this is threaded, which is nice. I am happy to see that. So let's uh, assemble the blaster and go from there. Here's the pinpoint. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the pinpoint, the new N-Series pinpoint. Uh, I'll tell you, I like, the, I like the way the blaster looks. I do like the way the blaster looks. Again, we are comparing it pretty much to the Eagle Point. Now, yeah, these are very similar. And, and I mean, this is, it doesn't get much more similar than that. So basically, this is this. Uh, the only difference now is this fires the new N1 dart. But the blasters are very similar. This one has a cylinder. This one has a magazine. I know that is different, but we're going to compare it and, and see if it's worth replacing your Eagle Point. So let's start talking about the blaster. Uh, grip feels good. It's a little bit small. Again, this is an eight and up blaster. Uh, it's pretty comfortable, but uh, you do have this piece back here, which is a little bit small, but the grip is comfortable. It does fit my hand pretty nice. Okay, uh, you do have bolt action and, all right, it sounded okay. Bolt action, uh, prime either side, and that was threaded, which is nice. Uh, you do have a 10 dart magazine and it goes in like this. And you have your paddle mag release back here, which is nice. It's got a nice quick uh, thumb paddle release. So that works nice. You have... Uh, and strike rail on top and you have a built-in scope now the scope is actually pretty good and you can shoulder it uh, it is short but you can shoulder it and there is a little reticle inside no plastic to blur it uh, it gives you a pretty good sight picture actually the sight is not bad it's just um, it's a little a little short so to shoulder it you are really compact on the blaster so this is how it looks when you shoulder it. Other than that, you got a lot of dead space in the barrel and that shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully the dart doesn't rattle around in there, which takes away any FPS, but that should be okay. Uh, it's painted on the one side, says 10 times and nothing's changed, no paint on the other side. Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro. And that's about it. So the stock's a little bit short. The grip is okay. A little bit small. Bolt action is nice. You have a jam door over here. And to open the jam door... Okay, so it's got to be primed to open the jam door. You can't open the jam door unprimed. So you prime it back and it opens. The, the jam door actually activates. You can't move the jam door without moving the bolt. So you do have to prime it in order to move the bolt. All right, so let's get some darts in this baby and take our first shots with the new N-Series. All right, so the way the magazines work, this is just to kind of push them in. So the magazine is actually quite easy to load and it only goes in one way because it has this little nipple on the back, this little plug on the back. And that is how the blaster operates. Just like the Ultra Darts were, it has this 
uh, I think it's called a DRM or something like that. That's what activates the, actually lets you fire the blaster. So if this is not depressing the, the locking mechanism in there, it will not fire. Actually, the magazine is a lot easier to load since you don't have to kind of push it down. You just push them in and it loads pretty, uh, pretty simple. So loading can be pretty quick. I don't know if that's 10 or not, but, uh, and this is spring loaded. So if you hit this little nub here, you got these two little paddles here. If you hit that, the darts will pop out. So it is spring loaded. Uh, once you insert the magazine, that means one of the darts is going to pop up into the blaster. So if you load the mag and then take the mag out, a dart is already fed in there and will come out. Okay, so our first N1 dart is loaded. Here we go. Deep breath, everybody. Let's see. That thing curved so hard to the left. That one curved right, that was straight, straight. And there is no slam fire. Um, very elite-esque. I mean, this was a short 10 feet to the dart catch I have over here, but the first dart went woo, the second dart went woo, and then a couple went straight. But um, hopefully it's just uh, working out the kinks as it's breaking in. So. Not a bad looking blaster. This thing would paint up and look really cool for a sci-fi look. It's really nice looking. I really do like the way it looks. And the magazine is okay. I mean, it's it's pretty solid. Decent magazine. We're going to have to get used to the new magazine. It can only be loaded one way because you have the dark nipple nub or whatever you want to call it on the back. So there is a, a, only one way you can load it into the magazine. And then the front has to go forward. All right. Well, I've seen all I need to see. Out of the blaster, let's take it to the chronograph now. Let's get some numbers and see how this baby stacks up against its older siblings. All right, stick with me, guys. All right, guys, so I have the Eagle Point loaded up. Here we go. 10 rounds. Let's see what this baby can do. All right, here we go. 82.3. 84.2, 82, 86.6, 81.3, 74.4, 83.3, 81, 82.9, 80.3, and that's it. Uh, well, better than elite was but not by much we had a max of 84.2 a low of 74.4 and the average was 80.9 so an average of 81 feet per second is what we are getting out of the new pinpoint nothing to write home about but better than elite in terms of what it's doing right out of the gate most of the lead stuff was hitting right around 70 if we were lucky so it is a little bump in improvement in, in performance i mean so let's see how it performs now at the range and go from there stick with me okay guys so we are outside with the eagle point there is an end of days type storm coming so i'm going to try and get through this a little bit quickly but i have 10 darts loaded up we are 50 feet away and we are going to be going for the dart catch so let's see if the new n1 dart can beat the elite dart and again this is a very low bar so please please hasbro let's see what you got all right here we go And we are out.
All right, you know, <sighs> let's talk about it inside. Let's go to the conclusion. Okay, guys, so the Nerf N Series Pinpoint. Not terrible. Uh, you know, it's it, better than the Elite. Absolutely. Definitely better than the Elite. I actually took a dart out of the dart catch. That's something that's never happened from 50 feet. Well, not never, but that's very rare. And it did happen on the first magazine. So you saw the flight path of the darts. They were a little bit better, but they still, you know, were weeble wobbles in the air. You, you know, you had some, you had some tail and right, some tail and left. You know, some went back and forth. From the 50 feet range, no, no good. From 20 feet, you're still those those darts tail. <sighs> I was expecting it to be a lot better than it is, but it is better. And again, we are talking about such a low bar that they had to overcome that they are not much better, but they are better. Um, Let's talk about the things I like. I like the magazine. I like the way the magazine loads. Uh, for your kids, this is gonna be a very easy magazine to load. You just stuff the darts in. There is no, you know, having to push down and feed the darts in correctly. There's only one way the darts can go in and you just push them in and it's good to go. So as far as the eight and up crowd, you know, the younger nerfers, um, this will be a, a very easy magazine to load. Uh, the mag release, I like that a lot. I always like these thumb paddle mag releases. Uh, it is comfortable to hold. It is quite light. It is not a heavy blaster. So again, for the kids, this thing is going to be very comfortable for them to hold in the hand. Uh, the prime is very reasonable. It's very easy to prime. So it's not going to be trouble for a younger nerfer. And this will fit them overall. And they will like this look. You know, they get the little sniper feel and a big blaster for a little kid. So as far as the kids go, yeah, I give this thing a recommendation. For $20, they're gonna have a blast with it. Um, what I will say is if you currently own an Eagle Point, I, and you have hundreds of darts, then it's completely up to you parents because you're gonna have to invest a decent amount of money to accumulate even a hundred darts, you know, to get a hundred darts, you're going to pay more than the blaster. I'm assuming, I don't know how much the dart packs go to. I haven't even looked into it yet, but, uh, I'm assuming the dart packs are going to be similar to what the elite darts were selling for. I, I think I saw one, it was like $6 for 20 darts when you can get 200 waffle darts for $10. So the darts are going to be expensive. I'm going to leave that up to you parents. The blaster is good. The kids are going to like it. They're going to have fun with it. I will say that it is a fun blaster. It's a really cool looking blaster. It's very easy to operate and there's really no must, no fuss to, to figure it out. So it's going to be very easy for the younger kids to uh, figure out this blaster. Again, you already have a lot of darts for this thing and you get the same, you get the same experience. You get the same feel. You know, you get that same emotional response out of the Eagle Point as you get out of this. Now, this is the new hotness. So if, if you need the newest stuff out there, then you're going to want this. Uh, I think $20 is a fair price. Uh, I don't say that often about Nerf and Hasbro, but $20 is fair for what you get. You, you get a decent blaster with 18 darts and, and a magazine um for 20 bucks and and that's not too bad a deal as far as nerf blasters go and this isn't even the cheapest one they have some other options that are a little bit cheaper uh this is kind of middle of the road they have a couple that are more expensive but they do have some that are cheaper than this but this is the best uh middle you know 10 dart magazine fed kind of blaster that they make currently uh i do like it 
I, I like it for what it is. Um, now, would I choose this over the Eagle Point? Um, I'm going to say yes. Now, not for the reasons you're thinking. For us modders and us in the hobby, this thing has mod potential for sure. I did open it up and I took a look inside. The plunger tube is huge with giant holes drilled into it. So if you take a look at the internals in this thing, this thing was meant for something else. This was not meant for this. Uh, this had to be shooting hot and they just said, ah, oh, we got to tone it down and drill the hole through the plunger tube. So they drilled a hole through the entire plunger tube and there's another hole on, on in the front. There's a lot of air leakage out of the plunger tube and there's no reason for that unless you're trying to dial it down. So this thing must have been hitting harder and they needed to tone it down a notch. So they drilled some holes in the plunger tube. That was the cheapest way to do it. Bop, pop a hole. Now you got a vent, you know, which releases some of the air before it gets to the dart and problem solved. That being said, you tape up the holes. You can, I haven't tried to do anything yet and I haven't really watched any videos uh, of people who did mod these things yet, but the mod potential is there from what I, I can see. Uh, the spring is decent, you know, you're getting in the 80s, but uh, it could definitely take a spring upgrade. Uh, air restrictor, you know, it's got your typical air restrictor in there. You could, uh, you could whack out. And like I was saying, the plunger tube itself can be sealed with some tape and that should give you some more pop right there because uh, it's losing a lot of air on the plunger tube and it has a padded plunger that's something i've never seen from nerf so this thing was definitely hitting harder or meant to do something different because there's no reason to pad the plunger the plunger head it's padded there's no reason to do that unless this thing is banging hard where there could be a problem breaking the plunger head it's not going to break the plunger head at 80 feet per second. So this was meant for something else. I don't know what it was meant for, but it was meant for something else. It might have been firing short darts. It might have been a pro level blaster, but they definitely decided to dial it down. And this is what we got. Overall, I'm giving it a maybe to the parents. If you want to invest in new darts, yes, I would recommend this blaster because it is fun to use. Uh, it's a little bit more foolproof then I won't say it's foolproof because this is pretty simple. Load the darts in a cylinder. There's nothing easier to load than a cylinder. So this is really foolproof and it has some attachments, but it's the same blaster. They are the same thing. The silhouette on these things is similar. This one looks cooler to me. It's got more of a sci-fi futuristic look, but this one has a little bit more, uh, you know, um, you know, a, a little more modularity because you can change things on it. You know, you can you can change things, but you do have an end rail up here too. So you can put, I don't know, you put a scope in front of a scope. I, I don't know, but you do have the rail up here for some reason. Uh, the rail should be on the bottom, but there is a rail up here. So you can put something up there. I don't know what you put up there because you do have a built-in scope. So you'd have to look through this scope to look through another scope if you do put a scope up there, but maybe you could, I don't know. I'm, I've given up trying to figure out Hasbro a long time ago. So that's the pinpoint. The first N-Series Blaster I've reviewed. Um, it's not bad. Is it better than Elite 2.0? Yes. Is it much better than Elite 2.0? No. Are the darts better than Elite? Oh yeah. Are they much, much better than Elite? No. No, they're just better. And that's not saying much again. So they're better. It, it, it's it's i don't know what else to say about it it is what it is it's cool it's fun it's a nice blaster it's fun to use it looks really cool this thing will paint up really nice um the darts are are better you know they are squishy in the middle and they're a little bit more firm on the tip and the tail but um other than that, they're the same foam that we've been used to. It's not like Ultra, you know, where Ultra changed the foam. So that was what I was hoping for. It was more of an Ultra dart. The, the head is very flat, but firm. Um, so they did it for a reason. It was supposed to be more for the kids and for legal reasons, but who knows? It is what it is. It's, it's, not, it's not that much better, but it is better. So that's all I can say. All right, well, we're going to move on to the next blaster, and we'll see if it gets any better. All right, but that's all I got for you guys today. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Take care.